Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we want to talk about yeah, gold and the perfect option on rising gold prices called gold mining. Welcome to Commodity TV. Gold mining is a listed exploration company with a pipeline of gold and copper resource stage projects. The company has already combined 10.5 million ounces measured and indicated gold resources and 12.4 million ounces of inferred resources all over the American continent. As a nice bonus come in addition 1.1 billion pounds of measured and indicated copper plus 850 million pounds of inferred copper resources. A real joker is the 25% joint venture with Orano in the Rhea Uranium Project. The big gold companies and also the producers worldwide face more and more challenges in finding and replacing produced ounces. Giant discoveries have become increasingly harder in recent years and the reserves by major gold companies have declined by 26% since 2012 and fell below the 2007 levels even. Gold mining used the downturn cycle and did seven acquisitions near the bottom of the gold cycle in the last five years. The company has still no debt, only 137 million shares outstanding and over 8 million Canadian dollars in cash. Two analysts give the company buy recommendations with price targets of 4 to 5 Canadian dollars. All projects are in mining friendly jurisdictions. The most advanced Brazilian project Zao Jorge could be brought fast into production when it is clear that we see a new gold bull market. Gold mining has a site. This three deposits located along western side of the Cachoeira shear zone and also already a lot of exploration with over 31,000 meters of drilling in 285 holes. The deposits are open down dip with a high potential for, few, for new discoveries. In Colombia owns the company two projects called Titiribi and Lamina, which are gold copper porphyrs and gold epithermal deposits. So far, we are 371,000 meters drilled in 376 holes, and the projects have no royalties and a large 7.2 million ounces gold equivalent resource. In Peru owns gold mine the Cosero project, and in Canada the Yellowknife Gold project, which is a site of TerraX properties. Over $60 million were spent on exploration, camp and underground workings with over 231,000 meters of drilling. The Bluefish Hydrodam is expendable with a new mine development. Last but not least owns the company The Whistler Project in Alaska, which can be a bit compared with the Giant Pebble Project in the beginning, but also from the geology. All those projects poise gold mining as a perfect call option on a rising gold price, as those asset values will jump significantly when gold rises above the $1,500 level. No wonder see the analysts such a high potential in the share price. Maybe you have a look into the company. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.